as you've already seen, Ronaldinho is a focus player in today's lesson. Here we will look at one of his trademark moves and one of my favorite variations of the scissor step over. This is a more advanced move, but we will look closely at the little details and break it down for you. And trust me, it will be well worth the effort you put into mastering it. As you'll see later, it can even work on top, top level defenders. So stay tuned and enjoy. First, we will look at Ronaldinho doing this move from different angles, as well as this other move that makes this scissor combination so effective. And now we'll look at both moves side by side so you can see the similarities. The move to the left that we are trying to fake with this variation of the scissor is essentially just an inside touch followed by a quick explosion to the outside. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at is where is the ball in relation to our body. As you can see here, we normally want to stay behind the ball when dribbling forward. But when executing this move, we want the ball close, so we try to keep our body over the ball instead of behind it, as you can see. And we'll watch this part again a couple times, focusing on how he's able to keep the ball close even as he takes a light touch forward for the first part of the move. This time, let's focus on what he is doing with his touching foot. As we can see here, he is opening it up so he can touch the ball lightly with the inside of his foot. Next, it is important to look at what he's doing with his plant foot or left foot here as well. After the first touch with his right foot, he doesn't put his right foot down like we normally would, but he hops on his plant foot or left foot. Look closely here. Next, let's look at the scissor part of this move because there is more than one way to go around the ball. See how he doesn't fully straighten his leg, but actually picks up his hip or whole leg a little bit so he can execute a wider scissor, which then allows him to explode out easier and more naturally. The arrow shows where he lands with his right foot and the distance from the ball is also marked. And then obviously he just pushes the ball out in the other direction to finish the move. Now we're going to use this second view to point out a couple more things. First, let's note that Ronaldinho isn't receiving the ball and moving very fast at the defender in this situation. Because, to be honest, it's very hard to execute this variation of the scissor at high speed. Next, look at the distance between him and the defender. You can see this move allows him to keep the ball tight while moving closer to the defender before he executes the scissor or the fake part of this move. And to end here, we'll look at what this move does to unbalanced defenders. As you can see, highlighted by the anchor, this powerful fake puts even the best defenders on their heels, which makes it easy to explode by them. Sometimes this move, if done correctly, can even break their ankles. Let's watch some more instant replays of that. Ouch, that cannot feel good. Hey, as always, thank you for watching. And if you like the push buttons, there's a subscribe button down here somewhere that where you can watch more of these videos. And there's a like button or a little thumbs up that turns blue. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go do it. Also, thank you to the other creators of these videos I got the clips from. The links to the full videos will be in this, the description. So, much love and catch you all on the flip side.